The Real Solution to Lake Mead Water Problem According to the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, Lake Mead is experiencing record low water levels owing to a historic 20-year-long drought caused by a combination of natural and anthropogenic factors. These record lows prompted the reservoir's first ever Tier 1 water shortage declaration, which has been in effect since early 2022. During the declaration, water users in Arizona, Nevada, and Mexico will be required to reduce their water consumption and look for ways to conserve water. In today's video, we'll look at Lake Mead's water crisis, its repercussions, and what may be done to solve it. So remain with us till the end to get the solution. The federal government declared a Tier 2 water decrease on the Colorado River on August 16, 2022. Beginning in January 2023, Southern Nevada will be limited in the amount of water it may withdraw from Lake Mead. This comes one year after the federal government declared a water shortage on the Colorado River in response to low water levels in Lake Mead. Southern Nevada's water allocation was reduced by 7 billion gallons in January 2022. The allocation will be reduced by an additional 1.1 billion gallons beginning in January 2023 for a total of 8.1 billion gallons. Our allocation for 2023 will be 275,000 acre-feet, which is 4,000 acre-feet less than our allocation for 2022, which is 279,000 acre-feet. The Effects of Lake Mead Water Scarcity on the Colorado River Basin as a Whole The water scarcity is expected to have a ripple effect beyond Lake Mead, potentially upsetting political agreements and management guidelines that have governed the Colorado River Basin since the early 1900s. In 1922, the states that rely on the Colorado River signed the Colorado River Compact, which established overarching goals for the upper and lower basins. One of those goals necessitates that a certain amount of water remain in the upper basin in order for it to reach the lower basin. If drought conditions continue, the pact could be breached. Reporter Michael Saka says that the continued drought, quote, could trigger a formal water distribution shortage and what's known as a compact call for the first time. The consequence could mean upper basin states, including Colorado, are obliged to cut off some water users to make sure there is enough water in the river to flow downstream, end quote. The current Colorado River water scarcity declaration has struck Arizona the hardest. Nearly one-fifth of Arizona's water supply will be cut off, based on the 2007 Colorado River Interim Guidelines for Lower Basin Shortfalls and Drought Contingency Plans for the Upper and Lower Basins. According to the 2007 guidelines, quote, Conflict over water is foreseeable and predicted as diminishing reservoir levels in the basin lead to interstate and interbasin tensions. End quote. Arizona farmers would be among the first to be affected by the federal water reduction, requiring them to implement conservation measures, including following land, meaning that a section of agriculture cannot be planted for a whole season. Municipal water customers are now spared from the scarcity but could incur serious repercussions beyond reduced water supplies in the near future. The water level in Lake Mead is around 1,065 feet, and the existing management standards only address water deficits down to 1,025 feet. If water levels continue to decrease in the next years, water shortages will affect more than just the water supply. Indeed, if the reservoir goes below 895 feet, it is deemed a dead pool state which will risk the Hoover Dam's ability to supply energy, leaving almost 1.3 million people in Arizona, California, and Nevada without power. Proposed Solutions and Future Outlook The Tier 1 water shortage in place for Lake Mead is considered a critical condition. Lake Powell, which was created by the Glen Canyon Dam, has also reached record low water levels. However, because Lake Powell is located upstream of Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam, it receives a much larger proportion of the precipitation that eventually feeds the entire Colorado River system. Both dams will be forced to limit the amount of water delivered to downstream customers, but the first-ever Lake Mead water shortage declaration, quote, demonstrates the severity of the drought and Lake Mead's low reservoir conditions, end quote, according to the Bureau of Reclamation. Unsurprisingly, 
Further dams and diversions have been investigated as long-term solutions. The Arizona State Legislature has even pushed Congress to look into capturing Mississippi River flooding as an extra supply of water. Among the most often employed conservation strategies include increased reporting of water wastes, adherence to seasonal water limitations, and the replacement of wasted grass with water-smart landscaping. Indeed, Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak approved Assembly Bill 356 in 2021, requiring the removal of underutilized grass landscapes or those covered with turf grass for purely cosmetic reasons by the end of 2026. Quote, We can save more than 9.5 billion gallons of water per year by upgrading unused grass to water-smart landscaping, end quote, said John Ensminger, General Manager of the Southern Nevada Water Authority. This policy initiative demonstrates a dedication to working with the natural environment of the American Southwest to increase water savings, rather than constructing the same infrastructure that caused the drought in the first place. Extending municipal water conservation through enhanced landscaping is a terrific first step, but municipalities, businesses, and farmers must all rethink their management techniques to assure continuous water supply. If water demand continues to outstrip availability, a situation known as water bankruptcy will occur. Water bankruptcy, in essence, promises an abundance of water without an adequate supply. Water storage capacity solutions, such as extracting water from the Mississippi and building new dams, ignore demand in favor of boosting supply. Agriculture in particular is one of the most significant demands on the Colorado River system, absorbing approximately 80% of the basin's water. To guarantee efficient management, water policy efforts in the West must recognize the link between agriculture and water consumption. According to reporter Saul Elbine, the, quote, drought in the U.S. West has been intensifying for two decades with no end in sight. Unfortunately for farmers, water use laws created in the early 20th century during a period of abundant rainfall have left regulators with their hands bound as they address climate change concerns, particularly intensifying drought." End quote. The drought forecast for March 2022 indicates that the situation is not improving. As the region grapples with the Colorado River Basin water shortage, new policy initiatives must consider alternative strategies that address the impact of water use on agriculture and the natural environment, rather than struggling to meet unsustainable demands. So, this was all related to the solutions for water shortage at Lake Mead. I hope you enjoyed our video. If yes, then do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next video.